Dear Mr. Cox, Honorable Mr. President, first I congratulate you on your election as President of Assembly. Dear colleagues, it is an honor for me to address the Parliamentary Assembly, and I wish to express my gratitude to reporters Ms. Aberg and Mr. Kilian Yunman for their work on the report about democracy in Armenia. The determination by the Parliamentary Assembly and the Council of Europe that Armenia has made progress is important to us. Threatening democracy in our country is a pillar of our agenda. We prioritize developing democratic institutions, respecting the rule of law, promoting human rights, and fighting corruption. Armenians know the value of democracy. Over the past three years, we have twice reaffirmed our commitment to democratic values. In 2018, through the non-violent weathered revolution, and in 2021, after the 44-day war, Armenians passed a critical test for democracy and the rule of law when it successfully conducted parliamentary elections in June 2021. These elections were vital in restoring public trust. Through them, we reawoke our commitment to the electoral process, held in difficult conditions. The elections attract the attention of the international community and were deemed free, fair, and comparative. Implementing policies to protect human rights is high priority. We seek targeted solution and additional safeguards against human rights violations. We continue to implement reforms to fortify the electoral process, to meet the European standards legislation, ensuring the free exercise of electoral rights will be enacted. We have launched a new round of discussion in the framework of the newly established Constitutional Reforms Council. Fighting corruption is another important priority of our government. We seek to create an anti-corruption policy that reflects this. To this end, the role of the Commission for the Prevention of Corruption mentioned in the report is significant. I stress that CPS participates in crafting the government's anti-corruption strategy and has the lever leverage to ensure transparency and accountability. This is a powerful platform that takes desired steps. The National Assembly of the Republic of Armenia will continue to support the Commission in fulfilling its functions. We are also focused in improving the judiciary. Reforms are being implemented to increase public confide confidence in the judiciary, creating a positive impact on all spheres of public life. Colleagues, today we face serious challenges in our effort to strengthen democracy. The last two years were hard for Armenia. We faced both the global pandemic and the grave consequences of the 44-day war against Nagorno-Karabakh. The effects of the war were profound. Sometimes it seemed that post-war unrest would threaten the viability of the state. Today, the biggest challenge for us remains security. The Armenian people and our democratic achievements have been under constant threat since September 2020. We strongly believe that only peace can guarantee long-lasting security and stability. And that is why our government's greatest duty to its citizens is start an era of peace for Armenia and the region. Of course, accomplishing this objective depends not only on us, but also on other countries in the region and the support of European institutions, principally of OCAC and the Council of Europe. Armenia assumes its share of responsibility for building the foundations of peace in the region. To this end, we must also reach a just and lasting resolution of Nagorno-Karabakh conflict to that addresses humanitarian issues, including the safe return of all Armenian prisoners of war. Thank you for your attention.